All right, so before I start, I want to say um, that if my voice sounds weird or anything, though, or all that, though, it's because I have a lot of um, allergy things and phlegm going on in my, my mouth and my throat. So if I um, do something like this <clears throat> during this uh, this uh, episode, um, that's what that is. So, um, oh, God. Wow, that appeared on both things right here. All right, then. So anyway, hello, and this is me again, Vincent. Welcome back to... Um, Beyond the Monstars podcast over here, though, for the new year, 2022. Though we're starting off good, though. Well, not really starting off, though, but it's been a long while, though. And also for everyone on YouTube, though, um, welcome back. I haven't posted in a while since January 1st, though, um, with that New Year's Eve video that I did, though, of the, uh, the Godzilla Human Characters tier list, though. But for everyone on Anchor over here on the podcast, though, I'm happy to be back though and all this stuff going on though so um if you guys are wondering on youtube and anchor why i kind of not been very active lately is because i had the the rona i had the 19 the good stuff no it's not (laughs) um i actually i had that and i was really sick so i had to take a few weeks um uh off the internet for a little bit though after the um the January, um, after that New Year's Eve video I did on my YouTube channel, though, and also that I didn't do anything for a while over here on my podcast, though, so don't worry, I'm going to get right back on it, though, since I'm, uh, feeling a lot better, though, and I'm more motivated to start doing more stuff, um, over here on Anchor as well as my YouTube channel, so, um, since I want to get all this stuff off the ground, though, too, and, um, it's fun doing this kind of thing, though, but, Anyway, this is a New Year episode. I feel like we start every New Year now with um, uh, a segment of this. Um, a new episode of Unexplained Cryptid Media. So, um, since we're back here again, and all the time I feel like when I bring it back, we, um, I feel like we're doing more newer stuff, which I feel like is unfortunate for me personally. But a lot of this, um, I, will, I promise I will get to like, other things with unexplained crypto media as well as the ghost of tiktok i will do other things though. it's just that some of this newer stuff is more recent though and i do want to talk about it though right here though but you could say this does count for something unexplained i think i think it's unexplained and it did remind me of another story from a few years ago that i will get into though but before i do get started on this episode i do want to make mention of some uh extra tidbit things on what's going on besides i said i was really sick with the Rona, though, and all that, though, and getting this whole thing off the ground and getting back into steam again and motivated doing YouTube and um, Anchor over here, though. So, um, with the Chucky Marathon, you guys know that hopefully, probably later this month or next month, I'll continue doing it and I'll finish it up because it was announced that, um, way back last year and that season two was going to be coming out this year, so... I want to get that finished, though, um, before the new season comes out, though, and I could watch the new show anyways, too. So if you guys are all wondering what's going on with that, um, I'm going to be doing it, though, so don't worry. As well as that, um, I got Venom 2 to review as well, though, so um, not Halloween Kills yet, but I'm going to do Venom 2 first, though. And also, in other news, though, that um, I am going, uh, since the new Scream, movie Scream 5, or just Scream is um coming out um this Friday actually tomorrow it's coming out um January 14th also that new Hotel Transylvania movie's coming out though but uh, it, uh I'm not really all that but I'm more about Scream so I was f- trying to figure out should I review the first movie again cuz back on my YouTube channel Prince Prince 54 I did review the first original Scream back in 2018 I did that though and that was like a damn years ago wow um, I did review the first Scream, and I was thinking, should I re-review it? And then I thought, like, nah, it'd be easier to, um, on my YouTube channel, I'm going to be reacting to the final, um, trailer for Scream that came out, um, I think a few days ago, though, so just to celebrate for Scream coming out, I'm going to react to that trailer on my YouTube channel, so stay tuned for that, though, and I might review, no promises, I might review the first original Scream, so... Um, look out for that though, and as well as Venom Two and the the Chucky, um, Chucky Thon stuff though, and also as well I will be doing like I said more unexplained cryptomedia 
episodes though and goes to tiktok episodes because again i have a bunch of videos and stories and things that have lined up but i want to figure out what i'm gonna do first though or which ones i want to um put on a list down so i know what i'm doing though which ones i want to talk about more and explore so um that's those news for um the channel and the podcast as well what's going on there um also you guys can check out t public um if you didn't know i sell merch so go on t public though with prince 54's art workshop um i am doing a redesign of the ghost of tiktok um uh character as well as a new t-shirt design with that character so if you're a fan of that though i did make a t-shirt of the ghost of tiktok um before um uh, last year, I think it was, no, I think it was 2020, uh, two years ago that I did that. Um, I don't remember when I started it now. Um, but when I did that, I have a new design coming out. So, um, it's gonna, the old, um, image you always used to see is going to be replaced with the new design because I'm actually proud of it though. So that's pretty much that. And also, um, I'm going to be after this, I'm going to be recording, um, a video for YouTube anyways. So it's going to be the Godzilla Monsters tier list video. So it's my last tier list video that I'm doing for for right now. So since I said that I was going to do that after the human characters one. Though, so if you're not on my YouTube channel, you should go over there and see that. I'm going to be recording it after I do um, this podcast, this episode of Unexplained Cryptid Media over here. And in other news to finish up before we jump into the story... Um, is that there is there was some news of Godzilla stuff going on though that I did want to bring up some way I w- I wanted to post it somewhere though but I was like why not just mention it on the 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 episode here of Unexplained Crypto Media since I did that before I announced some crap before I talked about the story that we were doing anyways I think it was the Annabelle excuse me I think it was the Annabelle video or the episode of um cryptid media that i did the annabelle story the real life annabelle i think that's when i did all that yeah i'm pretty sure but um there was on toho's official like uh instagram twitter and all that they posted an image of like a military clock that goes up to 23 um on the wall though and everyone was like what is that like what does this mean and if you ask me it's either probably it has to be probably a new movie because they are most likely doing a second season of Godzilla Singular Point for Netflix, so so they should be doing that. But if not, it's probably a new movie, or um, I'm thinking likely as well. Another option is that it's going to be some commercial or short or um a um uh, what is it a merchandise crossover thing or something they're doing though. So it's either a new movie that they're doing or some promotional thing. That's what I'm trying to say. Because if you don't remember back a few years ago, they did say they wanted to do that whole World of Godzilla thing, though, after Godzilla vs. Kong, where it didn't follow Shin, nor Singular Point, nor the anime trilogy, and uh, not the legendary movies. It was going to be, it's, it's going to be, it was going to be its own thing, and it was going to be like a cinematic universe, much like the Marvel movies and every other franchise nowadays. Though. So that's what they said those years ago. That it was going to be World of Godzilla or something. It was going to be a big cin. It's going to be a cin- big cinematic universe that they are planning on doing. So maybe that's what this is. But who knows? Really, who knows? It's all speculation and a lot of cryptic stuff, much like Stranger Things. So you'll never know. But I did want to make mention of something else. Horror. Last thing before we move on to the um, main topic of today for this episode on Explain Crypto Media. That um. If you guys do not know the movie Orphan from 2009, I might review that sometime soon. It's a really good movie, if, um, if you want to know. Um, back in 2009, apparently this month, this January, even though there's no official trailers or advertising whatsoever, they're making a second Orphan movie called um, First Kill, which is a prequel to the first movie. And I'm glad it's not a sequel because it would have been bullshit. Though much like uh, the boy movie, which that that was a mistake. <laughs> they did that shit. They just threw everything from the first movie out the window. Oh, the doll is possessed by a demon. It would have been stupid if the orphan did that shit. Where it's like, oh, she just lived somehow. Okay, I don't believe you. <laughs> 
but they actually have official set photos and cast for this movie. So I'm really confused. It has an IMDb and a Wikipedia, so I am not 100% sure. I want to believe it's real and it is coming out because a lot of people have been talking about it in the horror community. So if it is, I'm really excited, though. I like the first movie, and I'm glad they're doing a prequel route rather than just sequelifying it, though I'm making more um, forward. It's always good to go back when you can't go any forward anymore. I'm looking at the Five Nights at Freddy's series. Um, <laughs> we're going to talk about that in the future, though. But, um, I don't think there's much else for me to say here, though. Um, that there's these cool set photos of all the cast here, and they're pretty official, since a lot of the, um, only the actress who played, um, Esther from the first movie is here. So, um, I'm pretty much assuming that these are, these are real photos, set photos, and that it's going to come out this month. So, look forward to that, I guess, though, so... Maybe I'll talk about the first movie and this one. So, um, I think anyway, we should move on then. <laughs> so that's it for everything I wanted to um, throw out there for you guys, just so you guys could um, digest and eat that for my YouTube uh, viewers and my listeners over here on the podcast. So now let's actually jump into this um, episode of Unexplained Cryptid Media with this story I have here. All right, so actually now finally getting onto the story, though, for um, this episode that we're talking about today. I thought it was interesting enough since it appeared, um, I think a few weeks back, it appeared on the news, and I, yeah, no, it appeared December 31st, so right on New Year's, though, um, on Yahoo.com from CBS News, that, um, this appeared, though, and I decided, hey, it's unexplained enough to me, so it's interesting, we could probably talk, talk about it, and also it reminded me of, um, another story about a, a shark um having to do with something like this so so i'll get into it once i um dig dig deep into it though but i'm going to read the article from uh cbs news you can find it on there though it is um a giant bite photograph on great white shark and I, uh, the image is going to be hopefully on the youtube version of this there's going to be an image on screen but it's a, a picture for my uh podcast listeners it is a picture of a, a shark a great white shark with a with like a big obviously like massive um a jaw bite mark on the side of it on the left side of its body so i get into here so photographer jalil naja fu i don't know how to properly say that excuse me um took the photo of a lifetime while diving in um isla gu Gudulalup in Mexico. I'm bad at Spanish. Jeez. Um, he spotted a gigantic great white female with a ring of teeth marks around her side, encompassing her entire chest. The shocking photo garnered significant attention on social media, though um, on rare occasions during mating season among sharks, mating scars appear on females, female sharks' bodies caused by <clears throat> caused by the males holding onto them these scars are mostly deeper cuts and punctures indicating a more forceful motivation such as corsive mating from a male side um said uh let's just call him j j l i won't call him by his last name j l who took the photograph um said j l who captured the image in early december he added photos of other female sharks who um he had photographed with large bite marks but experts he talked to believe the big bite taken of the 15-foot female shark weren't convinced that the bite was from mating scars. And actually looking at the image, it definitely, to me, it doesn't look like mating scars at all. It looks like something tried to, like, either attack it or, like, self-defense or something. Or just was trying to eat it and was like, nah, this, this ain't food. Um, so Tristan Gooder, Gooder, Gooderidge, Gooderidge, Gooderidge. Um, a behavioral e ecologist and uh, wildlife um, presenter uh, for Discovery Shark Week told JL that he didn't believe the bite was from mating. Um, due to the position as the wound looks like it's healed a, a far bit, and although mating scars can be nasty, they are mostly superficial than that. The shape of it, to me, likely indicates a bite from another shark. Um, seems a bit a bit extreme for self for defense he co he quoted um gutteridge saying 
So I guess he's saying what everyone else is saying. He's like, that ain't no shark. That, that, that ain't no shark. Ain't no damn shark. Took a bite out of that. Took a bite out of that shark there. <laughs> okay, so Michael Dominer, another Discovery um, presenter and di- director of the nonprofit Marine Conservation Science Institute, told JL that he was confident that this is competitive aggression. I keep hearing people describe this sort of thing as territorial aggression. But these highly migratory sharks don't have a traditional territory, which makes sense because they just swim everywhere. Um, there's not like one area they hang out in. That scar will heal, heal to the point it won't be a good distinguishing mark, that expert said, um, free, free uh, J. Ill's post. J. Ill said that he was very lucky to have spotted and photographed the scar before it fully healed. Giant female sharks aren't out of the norm. A 35, um, a 3,500 pound great white shark dubbed Nuki Mi, um, meaning queen of the oceans, that's a, that's a money name, um, who researchers believe to be more than 50 years old was tagged in October of 2020. Um, when you see these big females like that um, have scars from decades over their lives and multiple mating cycles, you can really kind of see the story of their life unfolding across all the blotches and healed wounds on their body. Um, team leader Chris Fisher I'm um, told CBS News, um, Jeff Glor in 2020. It really hits you differently. Um, differently. Thank you. Thank you would think. It's a weird way of putting it. So that's the end of the article there. So basically, I guess the whole thing they're kind of saying with the image is that it was either it was a territorial thing or it was just mating scars on this... Um, on the, the side of the shark's body. Now, if you ask me, when I was saying earlier that this reminded me of a, another story about an unexplained shark attack, um, there was a story about the shark that was um, tagged, though I don't remember when, but the shark was tagged. It was a great white, I believe, and um, they were tracking it, though, and then all of a sudden the shark just dipped like down deep, deeper into like the... Um, like the abyss of the ocean, like way deeper than a lot of um, these great whites go down. Though it was, it's almost like if something took it and dragged it under, and they found the tracking device like colder or I think warmer than it should have been, and how far it went down. So it was like crazy. Though, and a lot of people, including myself, speculated that it's either some type of unknown marine animal, a megalodon. Some people said it was a a killer whale, but killer whales don't dive that deep into like the black abyss of the ocean like that because i don't remember how far the tracker went down when this shark was quote-unquote attacked by an unknown organism though that just took it and ate it so it had to been something bigger than a great white i don't know if it's a megalodon but maybe it was something that we don't know and also reminds me of the story of like the bloop like we don't know what exactly made that noise like some unknown marine animal but they say it's um uh, uh, ice cracking, the sound of icebergs melting, which I think is total bullshit. Um, but that's what this story reminded me of, that weird shark attack that happened um, those years ago where they just found the tracker and it's like, what the fuck <laughs> took out a great white and sank it down to like the depths of the ocean? Though, So personally to me, um, the, he said that the, the, the scar was, was like fresh, so it wasn't healed all the way. And you could tell in the image it's definitely not healed because you could see it, though. And my problem is with this is that the bite mark looks very strange. But to me, the bite mark looks a little strange. I'm looking at the image right now. And that's what I kind of thought when I first saw this is that the the bite mark, if it's like any other thing, if it's another great white, The bite mark is, like, on the left side near the dorsal fin and, like, its other fin on its body, though, and it does look like it could be a great white, but at the same time, it's, like, the dude dude captured the image, and it's apparently, again, like, the, the, the scar is fresh, so who knows, like, if something else attacked this shark though now the problem is with this i realize now is usually in um unexplained cryptomedias we um i try to answer if it's real fake or unexplained 
and it's kind of hard to say it, it's definitely real well it's it's a real shark but it's the idea of what caused the bite mark is unexplained you know what i mean so i personally don't think it's a it's a uh, a mating scar nor is it like a territorial though so because sharks mate in strange ways i do believe i've seen sharks mate though not not don't, don't take that out of context <laughs> um but yeah like it, it it looks weird to me it just looks weird because i'm trying to picture the great white like mating <laughs> again don't take that out of context um i'm trying to picture like the the shark taking the bite there and it having its way with the other shark it just looks weird because again the way the bite mark is to me it looks like the shark got bit by something something probably not an orca i don't think an orca because orcas have a certain shape of their mouth so it, it's definitely round like a shark's mouth but i personally don't think that it was a great white that did this i just let me just jump to it let me just jump to stretch here i think it was some type of unknown sea animal or organism that this dude did not see though because again it, maybe it attacked this great white though in self-defense or it was trying to see if the great white was edible or worth it and it just left the scar and it's like nah I i'm not eating that <laughs> well you ain't worth uh uh all the trouble so i personally think like i said it's some type of um unknown marine animal that it took a bite out of this shark most likely because again i'm trying to like figure out how the shark what why the bite mark is on the side of the shark here if it was mating though like wouldn't the bite be on the side though i know sharks have weird bodies and they're weird but i don't know um but i think it was some marine animal some unknown uh organism that attacked this shark so um because it's strange to me though like it, it, it it's good that it survived though i know it seemed like i'm stretching trying to grasp for straws here though but i feel like it's something that they don't know because it's weird like trying to um understand that if it was a, another shark trying to mate with it it's weird where the bite mark is at but it, it it doesn't make sense that it's territorial at the same time so that's really strange but i think it was something that um either attacked it or tried to um uh, eat it but thought it was not worth it so it just left though and this guy like moments before like probably not, not like right after but like when the shark swam by this dude he took the picture and he's like oh there's a big old there's a big old mar bite mark on that shark i personally think it is something that attacked the shark so i think that's going to be the verdict with this video though because i'm really trying to figure out though like it's weird like it doesn't look like it just doesn't look like a mating scar to me it looks like something it, it doesn't make sense that it was another great white because it's cannibalism so maybe that's why it maybe was a great white and it did that no that don't make no sense though it just doesn't it just seems weird where the bite mark is to me like it's just weird it can't be another shark nor can it be a killer whale i think it's another marine animal that probably attacked the shark and just left though most likely i think that's the verdict i'm going with it's a real shark with the real bite mark but it's an unexplained case of what attacked the shark and made the mark so that's what i'm going with this also reminds me of the other story of um the tiger shark that was bitten in half by um some creature though whatever and it washed up washed up on a beach though also, that other story with the, the, the great white, or that big-ass great white with a big chunk missing out of it, that, that's what this reminds you of, though. So it's something like that. I think, personally, I'm, I'm jumping the gun, it's, and I'm going to be the one to stick my neck out there. I don't think it's a mating scar, nor another shark or a killer whale or animal attack the shark or whatever, or cannibalism or any of that. I think since the, the placement of the scar in the shape it had to have been something more bigger and aggressive to try to tag i think it's an unknown sea animal that probably attacked it if you 
disagree with me or think I'm just crazy, just let me know what, what you think. Though, so that's my verdict. It's uh, it, it's not the fact. It's unexplained. The case of this shark is unexplained until like maybe they'll be able to find some more shit with this. So, so like a lot of these crazy shark um uh pictures and videos like this that happen all the time. So, who knows? Maybe we'll find out in the future though. So, that's pretty much it with this. The um great white with the bite mark. Um, the great white shark attack right here. I, I don't know what I'll call it though, but um. Right now, I'm putting this as unexplained, though. But it's not the case of it. The photo's real. The photo is definitely... The guy took a picture of the shark with um bite mark in it. But it's just the whole thing of um if what it is is real or fake. What bit it, though, or what took that... What made that mark, basically. So I'm chopping it down to it's unexplained. And that maybe it is a unknown marine animal or maybe there's a more natural or reasonable realistic explanation to what made this bite mark on this shark so um hopefully you guys enjoyed that though i'm pretty much done rambling here though so let me know what you guys think on the anchor podcast and on my youtube channel do you think it was uh, a mating mating mark bite mark a killer whale or another shark cannibalism or do you go with my crazy crackpot theory that it was a uh, big ass lovecraftian monster it took a bite out of the shark and just said nah i ain't eating this right now or or just thought it wasn't worth it though so or just did it in defense who knows though but um so that's pretty much it so if you guys enjoyed i do um we'll have more of these um uh unexplained crypto media as well as ghost of tiktok um videos and stories lined up though like i said at the beginning of this i have more lined up for the future though of this year though and knock them out though so this was just the most recent story that i wanted to get covered though and i thought it was worth talking about and exploring uh what what it could could or could not be so yep so if you guys enjoyed though um maybe i'll take a look at those other sharks that i said um in this uh in this episode maybe in the future though but who knows we'll see but hope you guys enjoyed i'm done sounding like a broken record though so again you can check me out on youtube though and there'll be more episodes of uh, unexplained crypto media as well as goes to tiktok and you could check out all my other stuff as well for um <clears throat> excuse me all my other um playlists here and episodes of um like my movie movie reviews and all that good stuff on my anchor podcast right here so as well as check out all my other links and all the stuff going on though though i'm on facebook twitter um uh instagram tiktok all that good stuff though um t public like i said though and i do have a patreon though but that hasn't been going all that crazy but if you want to visit it go ahead it's it's whatever <laughs> honestly um so yep so i'm done rambling hope you guys enjoyed for all my youtube viewers we kind of subscribe thumbs up thumbs down watch videos see you next time and stay tuned for more content coming out this year is going to be a lot more i promise you i'll get get back and motivated though i feel good doing this kind of thing again so yep so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys uh next time